The Philippines' electricity consumption is steadily increasing, as demand is growing, complementing its economic growth. The country's energy consumption in 2020 ballooned to 78.3 billion kilowatts per hour, while the total production of all electric energy producing facilities is 87 billion kilowatts per hour. The Philippines can provide itself completely with self-produced energy, where energy production represents 111% of its consumption. However, the Philippines is the second most expensive electricity per generation cost in Southeast Asia with an average rate of 17 cents per kilowatts per hour, as compared to neighboring nations. Singapore is the most expensive in the region with an average rate of $0.197. As the country mitigates the cost of electricity generation, the Marcos administration expressed the desire to adopt and revive nuclear as part of the country's mixed power sources. Currently, the distribution of electricity generation in the Philippines derives mostly from coal, representing 47.6%, crude oil at 18%, natural gas at 10.7%, and renewable energy at 23.7%. As the Philippines, attempt to compete with its neighboring Asian nation in terms of the cost of doing business in the region, which identifies the power generation cost, that makes the Philippines the least ideal among its peers, which curtails the nation's potential growth. Though the Philippines had already ventured into nuclear power plants in the 1970s, and built the Bata and nuclear power plant, the $2.3 billion nuclear power plant was completed in 1979, after three years of construction, but was deferred due to the opposition, alleged corruption, and safety concerns. It was totally abandoned for operation in the wake of the Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine in 1986. Now, the country faces the all-time high prices of electricity due to the inflationary pressures brought by the disruption of the global commodity supply chain, caused by the war in Ukraine. The aspirations to power up the Philippines with nuclear energy resurface. This is to avoid the same scenario, and to secure the country's energy supplies in the future. The government, via the collaborative efforts between the Department of Energy and Congress, will be exploring public-private partnership, or build-operate transfer arrangements for the deployment of nuclear power technologies in the country. Be it for the installation of small modular reactors SMRs, or on the targeted repowering of the idled 620 MW Bata and nuclear power plant venture. In March this year, during the term of then-President, Rodrigo Duterte's issued Executive Order No. 164, which allowed the adoption of nuclear energy into the country's power mix. At this stage, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is taking the front line as the major seller on the country's plan, to re-embrace nuclear as a long-term option in the country's energy mix. In his series of meetings with world leaders, primarily with the United States, France, and South Korea, Marcos sounded off the country's desire to opt for nuclear power, to fulfill not just the country's energy security goals, but also for that technology to serve as a sucker to mid-century decarbonization strategy, as aligned with the dictum of globally anchored climate change diplomacy. The president sought a partnership with France on nuclear energy during a bilateral meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron, at the sidelines of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Thailand. France's use of nuclear power is up to 67% of its power production. Will the Philippines recommission its dormant Bata and nuclear power plant? As to whether or not the Bataan nuclear power plant would be revived, the Department of Energy commented that a third-party study will likely be needed to reassess the obsolescing bargain on the nuclear facility's technology use, and to determine if it would still be viable for electricity generation. The department further indicated that social acceptance in the host community will be another major development choke point that the government and interested private investors will need to overcome. Hence, it will likewise be an essential component in crafting the policy and regulatory frameworks of the re-emerging nuclear power development terrain in the Philippines.
According to the provincial government, Badaan is no longer suited for a nuclear power plant. After more than 40 years after the Bataan nuclear power plant was constructed in Morong town, many had been changed. Critical industries and facilities have been built in Badaan in the past 40 years, like coal power plants. The Badaan oil refinery. Economic zones and the government arsenal. Which is why, there is a need to study and assess the situation. If problems arise in the operation of the nuclear power plant, it will result in the shutting down of all critical, and private facilities in Badaan, and this will greatly affect the country. Can the 40-year-old plant still run and sustain its operation? In late 2017, representatives from Russia's Rosatom State Atomic Energy Corporation, and Slovenia's Gen Energy, went to assess the plant, and make recommendations for its rehabilitation. Noting its relatively good condition, despite decades of disuse, it is possible to revive the plant. The estimated rehabilitation costs are between 3 to 4 billion dollars, these include proposed steps for securing financing, drafting relevant regulations, and training of technical personnel. However, they also recommended that the government may consider constructing new nuclear power plants. New Nuclear Plant for the Philippines According to the Department of Energy, the Philippines will have to wait 10 years to see a working nuclear power plant. The period will cover the feasibility studies and site developments, on top of actual construction works. The Department of Energy is eyeing the development of small modular reactors or SMRs, with capacities ranging from 50 MW to 300 MW. SMRs are faster to build compared to large nuclear plants, and can be deployed to off-grid areas for a more reliable source of electricity. Potential sites for small modular reactors are in Mindanao and Palawan. According to DOE, the basic fundamental is where it's safest, as to geography, and free from active fault lines. The Philippines' aspirations to power up with nuclear energy gained support from United States Vice President Kamala Harris, who opened up talks regarding the matter during her first visit to Manila. The United States has opened up negotiations on a civil nuclear cooperation agreement, that will support the Philippines' initiatives for energy security. Once in force, the agreement would provide a legal basis for the U.S. to send nuclear equipment to the Philippines. The United States is committed to working with the Philippines to increase energy security, and deploying advanced nuclear reactor technology as quickly as safety and security conditions permit to meet the Philippines' dire baseload power needs. Last March, the U.S. and the Philippines signed a Memorandum of Understanding to boost cooperation on developing Manila's nuclear energy program, which would involve technical assistance and improving capacity for nuclear infrastructure. Nuclear power is more efficient, has no direct emissions, and takes up less land area. But maintaining a nuclear power plant is extremely expensive. The Bataan nuclear power plant costs 40 million to 50 million pesos to maintain, even though it is not operating. While its rehabilitation would cost at least 558 billion pesos, according to estimates. Nuclear waste is also expensive. The United States allocates $44 billion for waste disposal alone, while Japan spends $123 billion just for decommissioning. Marcos has urged the private sector from local to international companies to look into nuclear energy investments. Companies, however have yet to submit proposals to manifest strong interests. Financing the relatively high upfront cost of nuclear power installation, will also be another investment impediment that the Philippine government will need to win over. If it is really serious about its forward plunge, into nuclear power facilities rollout.